This is the outskirts of Mykolaiv in southern Ukraine, the latest city to experience a Russian artillery bombardment. They're hitting Balabanovka, hitting residential homes, shooting. And among the apartment blocks where the shells land, horror and desperation to share with the world what is happening. Let's show everyone. All the windows are blown off and the doors as well. The situation becoming ever more desperate, Ukraine's President Zelensky renewed his calls for tougher sanctions against Russia. If somebody loses their mind, we have to lose fear and forget about commerce. We need to defend ourselves. Both countries and companies must take a moral stand and fight against an inhumane force which wants to destroy humanity itself. Still dogged by criticism for not doing more to punish Russia and welcome Ukrainian refugees, Boris Johnson announced an additional £175 million of UK aid for Ukraine. After 12 days, it's already clear that Putin has made a miscalculation. He has underestimated the Ukrainians, their heroic resistance. He's underestimated their leader. And he has underestimated the unity of the West. And we will continue as colleagues to do everything we can to strengthen that unity in the days ahead to ensure that Putin fails in this catastrophic invasion of Ukraine. There are explosions in the distance during a day of supposed ceasefire. Those too young to understand and too old to help themselves are fleeing Kiev. <laughs> Picking their way past this destroyed overpass in Irpin on the outskirts of the capital. It's a dangerous and exhausting journey. But what choice do they have? It's like a disaster. The city is almost ruined. In the district where I'm living, it's like no houses which were not bombed. This pin falls off. Kiev's defenders are no longer just Ukrainians. Foreign fighters are helping to prepare for a long-awaited Russian advance. Fighting for democracy, because democracy is precious and one man shouldn't decide that another country shouldn't have it. Ukrainian officials have arrived in Belarus for a third round of ceasefire talks with Russia. But Vladimir Putin has vowed he will take Ukraine via talks or war, so hopes for progress are slim. Tom Clark, Sky News.